Okay, just finished recording my gameplay. I know it has to be lit, man. Let's give it a watch. Wait a minute. Where's my game audio? And why is this icon hovering over my entire clip? Man, cut this sh <laughs> Ain't that just the worst? Maybe, just a smidge. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to record your gameplay with a face cam on your Android device at 1080p 60 FPS quality with your microphone audio recorded and your internal gameplay audio recorded as well. So the app you're gonna to wanna to download is called Glip Screen Recorder for Games. I left a link in the description below. Go ahead and install that like you would any other normal application and launch that bad boy. It'll first ask you if you wanna sign in with your Google account or with your phone number. And this might be something that you guys wanna do in case you wanna upload your videos to the cloud using this app. But if you're not interested in that and you just wanna get your gameplay recorded, you can go ahead and skip the sign up and you'll just be brought to the main screen. So now once you're here, you can go ahead and select start recorder and this won't start a recording right away on your phone you're going to want to configure your settings in the orientation mode i like landscape because that gives you that nice youtube view that everybody likes so much now if you're making videos for like tiktok or instagram then you might want to go with a portrait view for some of your videos now to continue down you want to check out your video settings and this is where you can configure the quality of your recording. I think it's cool that the Glip app gives you that structure for what a low, medium, and high quality video would look like, but I also like that they gave you the option to go full on custom so that you could max your video quality out at 1080p at 60 FPS with a 12 bit rate. This phone is one of the cheapest Androids that you can get out there to play games on and I was able to not experience any lag even maxing out my video quality. So that was impressive. You can go down to your audio settings next. This is where you can either mute your audio altogether, so no game audio, no microphone, or maybe you just wanna have your microphone, or hey, maybe you just wanna record the in-game audio. But then you have that last feature here, and that's being able to record your in-game audio plus your microphone. And by the way, guys, if you plug in your headphones into the Android device, you're gonna be able to hear that audio at the same time as well. It's not like some audio has to drop somewhere. You get the whole gaming experience, plus you get your game content recorded the way you want. What's even better about this is that you can control the levels of your game audio compared to your mic audio. So your mic audio, you definitely wanna have that to be the loudest, but your in-game audio, you don't want it to match that. You want that to be a little bit lower once you're straight with your audio settings, you can go back and then click additional settings, which is the next tab here. And this is where you can select the storage location. So by default, it's just going to record the clips to your internal storage on your phone. But if you have like an SD card plugged in, you can record your clips to that. You can also set the amount of time that the countdown timer is. Uh, and then right below that, you can do the floating icon to start recorder. But usually since I'm just starting it through the app, I don't really find a need to have to turn this on. Next up, we can check out the show camera overlay. And if you have that toggle, this is where you're gonna be able to have that face cam over your gameplay to get that live reaction. And then when you're live, you can set the position of that face cam just using the touchscreen controls anywhere you want on the phone screen. You can put it in the middle if you want, or to the left side, right side. But now with all of those settings out the way and all of your permissions cleared and ready to go for your camera and your microphone and your in-game audio, go ahead and select launch recorder, and then you'll see a countdown timer. It'll go three, two, one, and then it'll start recording. And now you can see my face cam and I can just go hop into a game and just do my thing. Once you're all done recording, just head back to the app, go ahead and select the stop button, and that will end your recording. You should hear that little ding, and your video will be saved locally in the app, as well as there being a copy in your media gallery. And from either of these locations, you can share your video to messages, save it to your Google Cloud Drive, upload it to YouTube. The video clip is 100% yours. Now there's another very cool feature within this clip app you guys have to know about, and that's the replay functionality. So if you go ahead and launch the recorder, you're gonna get this floating icon, which if you tap the icon, it'll record the last 15 seconds of what happened, but if you tap and hold it, then it'll record the last 60 seconds. Pretty cool if you're trying to get highlight clips, but you don't wanna constantly be recording to try to get them. Now you can get them, 
and still record them. You guys might have noticed that in those recordings, you'll see that floating icon. So if you wanna avoid having that in the future, just make sure in your settings that you hide the recording icon. With that, you can just shake the device and then it'll record your last 60 seconds of gameplay. Wow, like we don't deserve this. Can, please port this to iPhone. ASAP. We we need something like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for staying to the very end of the video. Y'all know the deal. Hit it with a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. Check the video out on screen if you want to know how to get your Android screen into OBS. It's a pretty cool feature and you don't need a capture card. So go check it out. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.